We're at the Walter E. Washington Convention Center in Washington, D.C. for CUNA's 2017 Government Affairs Conference. There are about 35 credit union people from credit unions throughout the state of Vermont in attendance at this event with about 5,000 of their peers from all across the country, making this conference the largest of its type among financial services industries in this country. We took the opportunity to take some highlights of uh, some of the events that went on and the sights and scenes and ask people about their impressions about what they saw and heard this week. Let's watch. Um, so, the GAC, I mean, it is the credit union movement uh, through a fire hydrant. I mean, it is everything gushing at you all at once. It's amazing. The people here, the passion here, the atmosphere, um, the things that you learn that you wouldn't necessarily hear about. Advocacy for one is really big here. Um, the common sense is really something that Jim Nuzzle has been talking a lot about and um, his hope is that we're able to take it to our legislation and have that elevator speech ready to go and um, share the importance of what we're doing, the credit union difference. So, it's I think everybody needs to see it firsthand. Uh, you can hear about it, you can do the video type things, but this is just reach out and touch it and it's a whole different experience that you get. You're sitting with 5,000 people, you're talking to some nationally known speakers and you're really feeling that energy that I think makes the credit union movement. And even during my time here, I've seen it grow uh, from where we used to be over in DuPont Circle to a larger event. And if you can kind of seize on the momentum and get the networking and ideas, it's an invaluable experience. I absolutely love Colin Powell. Colin Powell, he was great. I've always admired him. But I have to say that Cat Cole was just inspiring. And I think it was an inspiration for people that the young generation of what you can do if you just have the drive and the goals and um, the mindset to be able to, to do things like that. So I think that she felt that her credit union helped her to, in many ways, to not to help her get to where she wanted to go, not discourage her for anything that she could do what she needed to do. And I think we do a great job with that. It's an eye-opening experience from going from the branch, which is where I've only been, um, to see the 30,000 foot view of the industry and try to make the connection back down at the branch level, which is where I spend all my time in the industry right now is helping members at a desk. Uh, I think it's gonna help translate how policy advocacy uh, will actually affect people. Because I, I didn't have that connection, I just thought that this was some place where people show up and don't agree on anything and nothing happens. But right. why, why do you guys come here every year? Uh, it's kind of inspiring to know that we have as much advocacy as what we do. What do to help um, deliver that message on, I think, is important. So um, I think his hands are somewhat tied, but I think if he can just get enough people rallied and supporting and, and making the... Just hearing the stories in terms of Vermonters, that we understand that regulation has to be there. It's a necessity. We don't want to try to pressure our legislators in saying the CFPB or something like that has to go away. But I think they need to hear stories from us. And there was a good analogy that got made in one of the meetings I had of someone said, you know, it's almost like you're at a, you're driving a car and you're at an intersection. 
and the more regulations, speed bumps, traffic stops you put up, the more slow down everything's going to happen and there's going to be more traffic jams. And that's the situation that we're in. And it's not only for our members uh, in terms of that scenario, it's the organization ourselves. We're losing Vermont credit unions because the threshold of what's required now in terms of compliance is GAC so high. Overall. Would you recommend, when you go back home, would you recommend for anybody else to come down here, anybody else that's up and coming in the credit union movement or just starting out? Yeah, if they're passionate about it, it would be one of the best things that they could do. Excellent. Um, the right person here at the right time could be the next if, solution. What would I say? I would say the GEC is, is your crash course in learning about um, the credit union movement as a whole. So I find that people that haven't been to the GAC um, have a very narrow and specific approach to what they do every day. And when you come to the GAC, that gets broadened and you have a more global approach. Um, the networking alone is worth going to the GAC because um, the industry luminaries that we have are all here and readily at your disposal. Um, everyone wants to be talking about what they're doing and how can they do it better. And um, it's really a collaborative community. It's cooperation among cooperatives. Yep. Is it fine? Okay. <laughs>